Hey, who's on board with us already? I thought I would have missed this already. I just got home from work. But uh, I'm thinking it's going to happen within the next two hours. He's going to look like a caterpillar now and then look like the uh, green thing to your right. Hey, David, what's up, bud? Nathan, dog, is my co pirates in the house. Hey, how you doing today, bud? You still fishing? Still catching them salmon or what? I miss those videos, dude. Hope all is well. You're away. There you go. You are. All right. Good deal. Glad to hear you're killing it. I'm trying to watch the chat on my phone here. Hey, Anna Hutchinson. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I just got home from work. I have a feeling that caterpillar looking hanging J thing is going to be looking like that green thing to your right in the next hour or so. I'm hoping, anyways. I thought I would have missed it being at work. I just got home, just pouring myself a cup of coffee. So excuse me one second. I gotta run over to the uh, refrigerator and get some coffee creamer. I'll be right back. Yeah, I figured that, that this would be pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, I can catch them in time too when they start emerging as butterflies and I can go live again and people can live stream it, people can watch it. I don't know how, how how does it look? Oh, is he moving around? Oh yeah, he is moving around. Something's going on up there. Oh, I wonder if I can zoom in. No, I can't zoom in while I'm broadcasting. But he's moving around. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, the fourth one is up there now. I think he's starting to latch on. He'll probably be Jane. Uh, I'll even turn you here. Uh, that one's over there. You got two already green. That one's going to turn green. And this guy, you can see his antennas there. He's starting to stick now. He's been in that position since this morning. So I'm assuming by the end of the stream, he might be a J hook like that one. And then, uh, 12 hours or so from then he'll be looking like the other green one there. I don't know how long they stay green for before they actually turn uh, brown or black. But then uh, digging with Deej was saying something that it could take anywhere from 5 to 10 days depending on the warmth. Uh, I wonder if I turn that on if it will work, if it will blind you. Yeah, I got reflection there. I'll turn that back off. I don't know if... Uh, it's 10 to 14 days, a week to two weeks, or five to 10 days. I have no idea. I heard different stories, but guess what? I'm gonna find out. I mark it on my calendar when they were hanging, so. Actually, it was during the live stream on Friday, so. It should be easy to remember. Yeah, it was weird. The other two looked just like that. I went out door knocking for a couple hours. Uh, must've been Saturday mo yesterday morning. When I got home, they were already green. Somebody's saying like they have a golden zipper around the top, and it does look like a zipper. It's weird. <laughs> it's so cool. My first time doing this ever. A lot of people have commented that they've been doing it since they were a kid, or they remember doing it with their parents when they were kids. Uh, I, I'm doing this with my daughter right now just so she can experience it, and if she wants to do it when she grows up, that'll be great. I'm going to continue to do it next year. I already ordered uh, four other smaller aquariums so I can put every one in its own so it won't be bothered. Someone said you shouldn't put, put them in with other chrysalis because they would attack them. And, but I didn't see any of that happening, so I don't know. Let's say, hey, Chris, B3 Relic Recovery. How you doing, bud? William Baker, North Jersey Detector. What's up, Jason? Sorry, I'm going by the chat on my phone here, which... It's only like three at a time and then I miss it, so. It only comes up when someone types too, and then it disappears. Well, yeah, I figured it'd be an educational thing. Someone said I should do it, maybe it'll go viral. <laughs> That'd be cool. But yeah, he's doing something there. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something there. 
I don't know how they go from that big looking J hook to a tiny looking little green thing half the size. It's just weird. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Pretty amazing. I guess when they stick themselves up like that, that thing is pretty tough. I, we had some bugs that work on the light poles. I was working on the boulevard, and there were like chrysalis like that, and you could not get them off of there if you tried. <laughs> some kind of special webbing. Hey, what's up there, Jared? Good to see you, bud. It's like alien-like. I know. Watch him. He's moving. It's like his teeth are coming out and going back in. I don't know what's going to happen. Jerry, did you get a chance to go out today, bud? I know uh, Josh C.T. Relic Digger was going out yesterday, but I woke up and my sciatica on my right side was killing me. Oh, no, I look worse, Nathan. <laughs> hey, Mildred, how you doing? Yep, I got your email, hon. I got those things mailed out to you yesterday morning. I mailed out yours, a uh, set of stickers. I mailed out a set of stickers to uh, Yoper Digger 57 I mailed out a Mickey Silver Round to, uh, to uh, who was it, Ron Just Digging Life? I think it was him. And then uh, I mailed out uh, the button to Ambient Girl, Relic Hunter, up in New Hampshire. I sent that up to her as well. I sent all four packages out yesterday morning, right around 10 o'clock after I hit the bank. Hope I didn't miss any chat. Going back a little bit here, hold on. Hey, now I know why Amy does this on her phone. Ah, you guys just can't see me do it because I'm on the other side doing it. You might see the phone shake, but... Did you get my... Yeah, I went out to the same cellar hole. Well, you found that gold the pocket watch chain? Oh, well, that pocket watch chain, did it end up being gold, bud, or what? Just curious. Nothing great. I saw your video today, though, on that pocket chain there, pocket watch chain. I got the picture, too, that you sent. Oh, that picture of Ricky's belt buckle plate. Perfect. Dead on, man. That's the one. It's Texas. Good to know. 1861 to 1865. Sweet. Yeah. I know in a matter of two hours, hopefully, it'll look like that green thing. I don't know how it happens, though. I don't know how it gets so small. I don't know if he actually eats his skin and throws it up. Is that what he's doing? Oh, that's gross. I don't know. If that's, I oh, oh, you saw another killer whale this morning, Nathan? Dude, that video you made scared the heck out of me. I would have been crapping my pants if I saw that if I was in my fishing boat. Big old orca killer whale coming up, going down. Coming up, going down. Where'd he go? He comes up right by your boat. That's some scary stuff right there. Not thinking it's gold, maybe brass then? Okay, cool. Water boy got his first shoe buckle today. Oh, what did I do? Oh, nice Bruce. Did you and uh you and Kevin go out today? That's awesome. Was it a complete shoe buckle, Bruce? Ah, chat went away. Tag nab it. Swarm under the boat this time? Wow, my God. Yeah, I wouldn't risk my life for that. That's scary stuff right there. I don't know, Nathan. Awesome, complete. Oh, man, if you see him before I do, tell him congratulations for me. Coing! You got it, Jared. Dude, he found a complete shoe buckle today. That's awesome. Dude, I have seen so many complete shoe buckles pulled this year. Harry Kay's Adventures, and then two more, I think, I, don't, I forget, somebody will build that on our first hunt together, and then uh, Charlie and uh, Dame both got a complete one, I think, or was it somebody else, Faceless George, somebody else got one up there in New Hampshire, and then uh, a few people down here just, just got them again, sorry, I missed the chat, I was looking down at my counter while I was trying to think of what I wanted to say, let me, uh, Hey, Lincoln Central Coins is in the house. Good to see you, Lincoln. I know a couple people aren't going to be here. 
Hey, Jordan Anderson, what's up, bud? How come you're not out in your kayak right now? David Carlisle's in the house. I'm waiting for this thing to turn into a chrysala. It moves and then it don't move. And then it moves and then it don't move. I don't know, right now it seems he's got like a big giant tail holding onto the ceiling there. Whoops. I guess when it dries up a little bit it gets really skinny like the other one there. I'm glad you all wanted to come and hang out. I just wanted to get this. I, I was going to film it, but then I figure, you know what? A two hour upload to YouTube would probably take me overnight. Why don't I just go live and it'll automatically upload when I'm done. And I'll, I'll already be all set. Hey, was that Iffy Signals? Did I miss him? Mikey, is that you, bud? Hey, what's happening? Any luck finding the owners of that uh, gold wedding band yet, bud? That was a heck of a find, man. Congratulations. That thing is huge. Awesome. Oh, that's right. Bruce knows Iffy. Jared. Jared, did you meet? Hey, you met Iffy before. That's right. Up in Danielson there, where I found my real, half real, I should say. Really, Peta? Oh. Gotcha, Mikey. Dude, I know you said you found out the Boy Scout camp, but it could have been somebody from out of state, too. So, you, you know, I don't know. Good luck trying to find the owners, though. It's always fun when you can. But it's kind of cool when you, when you don't, too. You actually get to keep one, finally, you know. <laughs> I got the fine I got I got to keep two so far and I gave two back. And then some lady called me and I and I went and found hers for her. I don't think that really counts though, because I really didn't dig that one. She told me she lost it and I found it for her, so. I had a heck of a diamond on it though. That was my first big diamond ring. I didn't get to keep it. How sad am I? I know I'm crying over here. I'll stop. Yeah. Hey, Jordan Anderson. Guess what? I'm, I'm going to have to correct you, bud, because some guy did it to me at four times at work. He goes, that ain't worms. They don't crawl on the ground. That's a caterpillar. <laughs> and caterpillars turn into winged insects. Worms don't or something like that, he told me. I didn't know this guy was so smart. I didn't think he was intelligent. Like, oh, you see that movie just did? What was that? That was some bionic stuff there. Whoa. Jordan Anderson, these are monarch butterflies, if they're that color. They'll turn to chrysala, and then uh, I think 10 to 14 days, they'll come out a black and orange monarch butterfly, or blue and black, or whatever color they are. I think one of these worms was, was a different, uh, different pattern, so it might be a different color monarch, I don't know. But once they hatch, I guess you can, uh, you got to wait like three or four hours for their wings to dry out, and then you can release them outside. Tastes like chicken? Yummy. Hey, weren't these the same caterpillars that Shrek used to squeeze onto his toothbrush to brush his teeth? Yummy. Mm. Hey, it's Bill Nye, the science guy. Hey, I want I, I want Professor, what was his name? On Big Bang Theory, Bob Newhart. Professor Neutron, was it? All right. Well, I don't want to miss it. I know it happens quick. I just don't know how, how quick. Hey, we'll see you later, Nathan. Appreciate you stopping in, bud. And uh, I hope you're not on a boat right now. But uh, get out there and catch some more fish. That's awesome. If you can, get a little video of it. We'd love to see it. Or send me a couple pictures or something. Miss you, man. Oh, wow, Bruce. Really, huh? Hey, Ozzy Darren's in the house. What's up, Oz, man? Good to see you, bud. Oh, hey, Iffy Signals. Buddy, you had that, you won that sixpence from Jim M.D. Melbourne. Well, when you backed out and didn't come last weekend, I gave it to Ozzy Darren because I had to give him the letter from Chris B3 Relic Recovery, and I had it taped to that, so I didn't want to lose it in my pocket. I just told uh, Ozzy that he could keep it. I got another one uh, iffy. I'll send it to you. I think I got your address.
Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like a coffee after work. Sweet. Hey, hold on one second. I gotta turn my fan on. Getting a little warm. Yeah. Must be the coffee. Dun dun dun. I'll be right there, folks. What a beautiful day today. When I went to work this morning, it was 52 degrees. 52 degrees. I almost had to put a jacket on. It was so cold. I said, nope, I'm not doing it. I think it's only like maybe 78 right now or something. Hey, little dirt diggers is in the house. Good to see you, Miss Emily. How are you doing today? I'm trying to catch this caterpillar, turn it into a crystal alive so everyone can see it. So I figured I would try it out and see what happens. Be like big brother, not sis. <laughs> Every once in a while, he jerks around. He's chewing on something. I don't know what he's doing. There he goes again. His little legs in the front are all curled up. His head's moving around. It's like he's trying to eat something. I don't know what. Unless he's spinning a web with his mouth. I don't know. So I know, I think he's starting to change color. It's weird because I could see him moving inside the crystal afterwards. He's all jerking around, swinging around. You're good? Did you go out digging today there, Emily? Did you get anything good today or yesterday? I haven't been out in a week. I went out yesterday morning door knocking. I talked to a few people for like a couple hours, but they said no, they wanted to do it. I said, well, here's my card. If you change your mind, you want some help doing it, let me know. I would love to help you, and I'll give you everything. You can keep it. I just want to save it from the ground. So hopefully they give me a call. It's right next to the house that I did, which was the first house in East Hampton in 1726, that I found all those large scents and those buckles and that full, complete cap gun that I made it into American Digger Magazine with back in January. It's right next door to that place, and that guy owns like three houses to the right and the left, and I think all the way back to the lake. It's like 500 feet back to the lake and that was the first area populated in East Hampton. Bevan Bell's owned it. I mean uh what was his name? William Barton owned it. Whoa did you see that? What's he doing? Oh my god you guys see that? What's going on? It's freaking me out man. And uh he used to uh make the Bevan Bells I mean the Barton Bells right there in the shed in his yard. I just wanted to swing over that corner of the yard just to show him, you know, there might be one there, but uh, he, 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 he wouldn't let me swing over it. I did Beautiful Silver Ring, St. Christopher, oh, I love St. Christopher pendants. I found uh, a few now. I love finding those things. I found a couple of St. Florians, too. And, and so you went bass fishing? All right. You got to get that on video so we can see you yanking one out of the, out of the water. I don't think I've seen any this year. I remember them last year. I remember maybe I saw one in the spring. I don't remember. What is that guy doing? Am I talking too loud for him? Is he getting mad at me? I never seen that before, folks. He must be loose inside of his inside of his skin. It's breaking away from inside the uh, his skin. So he's like shedding it, but he's gonna stay inside of it. I think the Screen, the skin ends up like an accordion and closing up like it's expanded right now hey palm z's in the house good to see you palm z and do congratulations on that what was it 1300s brass tomahawk axe head you found or i forget what you called it but that thing is beautiful and if it's better than the two that are already in the museum, this is going to be the best piece in the museum then. Congratulations, my friend. And that is awesome of you to donate it to the museum so everyone can see it. That is one beautiful piece you found. I can't believe where you found it. <laughs> yeah, this is my first year doing the caterpillars. Oh, my God, you see that? 
Um, I want to thank Angelo from North or NEPA, Northeast Pennsylvania Archaeology and Research something, and uh, he he's he's been doing this for years, and he told me Mike just get a couple milkweed plants. So I went to my local garden shop and bought a couple milkweed plants, two different varieties, and none of them were natural, but they were a special type of milkweed. Uh, but I guess any kind will do. I just put them up. I didn't even plant them in the ground yet. They're still in the buckets they came in. I just water them every day. But uh, within a couple weeks, the monarchs were coming, laying their eggs on it. And like two weeks after that, I start seeing these little tiny caterpillars, like a half inch long. Then they grew like a quarter inch every day. They got up to like three inches long. And then uh, there was I had 19 at one time. And then like the next day, they were almost, like, almost all of them were gone. So I don't know if they came down off the plant and went under my deck and they're hanging there now. I'm not going to go underneath my deck to find out. <laughs> but uh, I, I lucked out and got these last four. I got two there. I got one over there hanging and you can see the antennas right there of the fourth guy. He's not J hooking yet. But he probably will soon. It looks like he is up. He did grab on with his butt, so it looks like he would be J hooking probably tonight or tomorrow morning. And he'll be turning into a chrysala. So all these guys are gonna be hatching within like a day or two apart. It's gonna be awesome. Oh sorry, I missed the chat there, folks. Sorry, I didn't mean to take the attention off of him. Bronze Age, that's what it was. Thanks, David. Yeah, spread the words if you guys want, or share this on your social media. Or share I forgot to share it on Facebook and all that before I went live. I guess you can hit a button on this YouTube thing after you set up your live stream, and you can click share and share it to different medias like your messenger or your Facebook or Instagram or whatever and then let people know you're gonna be going live so feel free to share this if you want and uh, let as many tune in as they want to watch this I'm hoping this happens within the next hour or two well I can only live stream for eight hours straight I think I don't think I'll be going that long but I just want to see it happen live It's 1750 B.C.? Oh, my God. B.C.? 1750? Oh, my gosh. He's doing sit-ups? <laughs> it's a robo-sizing, huh? North Jersey? Mike's house is going to be covered with butterflies in two weeks. I only got four. Next year, though, I'm hoping to have like 20 or 25. I got four more, five more aquariums coming. Little small ones. So I can put, like I said, each of them in their own. You hope to get to see them hatch? Me too, Emily. Miss Emily, I really hope I get to see them. I hope it doesn't happen while I'm at work. But once they, if I see them starting to hatch, I'll go live again as soon as I can. And uh, so everyone can watch it happen. I think that would be cool. What is he doing? Oh, I think he's... I think his skin is shrinking down, getting smaller. It's hard to say. Uh, I can only go eight hours, but then I can stop it and then start it again if I have to. That's no problem. If anything, I'll have to plug my phone in so it doesn't die, but that's pretty easy to do. Got some new outlets with some built-in USB ports in them. That's That'd be cool. Let me just check the chat here. It's on a weird angle. Hey, Steve, Yoper Digger 57's in the house. Good to see you, bud. I sent out your package yesterday morning there, Steve. You should have it in a few days. What's wrong with my voice? Getting awful high here. Whoa, what's he doing? Freaking me out, man. Hope he's all right. I didn't, I didn't witness the other ones do that, so unless it happened when I wasn't here. Uh-oh, what the heck is that? There's like a little worm on his antenna. I don't know if you guys can see that. On his antenna in the back, there's like a little worm or something on it. 
What the heck is that? Or is he shedding his antenna? He might be shedding his antenna. Oh no, his antenna's falling off. Or oh, he's pulling it inside. Oh man, I'm missing the chat again. Sorry folks, I'm too busy checking this out. I could share it, but no one would come. <laughs> I hear you, David. It's my life story. <laughs> you get oh, what's he doing, man? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I can get back to chat here. I was just watching him. You getting out this coming weekend, Mike? I just work today, Sunday. My weekend's Friday, Saturday. Uh, I hope to. I'd like to. I haven't been out since last the, the the big collab we had last Saturday. I haven't been out since. I tried to go out yesterday morning, but I couldn't get a permission. I didn't want to go to the park or anything. Uh, you, you you getting out this weekend, gentlemen? I have a couple of spots we could give a shot. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll ask Ricky. I know he was busy this weekend doing a big party at the castle for the owner. He's having a bunch of people there. But yeah, I'm sure he would love to get out next weekend. I will uh, hopefully see him this week and I'll ask him. They always emerge when you're at work. Well, in that case, I'll have to leave my phone home, start my live stream, and go to work. Maybe I'll have to plan a half day or something. I don't know. See what happens. I would love to see him come out. No, you're more than welcome there, Steve. Sorry, I'm just getting down to that chat now. Spence Moulton. Mm. He has an itch. <laughs> hey, Jim MD Melbourne's in the house. What's up, bud? You're at work, too? I just got home myself, bud. I don't work too hard today. Take it easy on yourself. Enjoy it. And thank you for stopping by. I do appreciate it, sir. The antenna will follow the casing all the way up to the tail as it progresses. I send you a video. The antenna will follow the casing all the way up. Oh wow! I did not know that. Is that why the little two stick out the other end, the small antennas? Actually, that's why I thought they they hung by, but I guess not. Great to see you, Jim, MD Melbourne. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, Saturday would be perfect. I don't have my daughter that Saturday, I don't think, so uh, we'll be able to get out. You got over a hundred of them, you never seen one come out? I've seen a couple, I think, on... Uh, Angelo's video last year on Northeast Pennsylvania Archaeology and Research. You ordered a six inch coil for the Knox? Oh man, Rebecca loves hers. But hers looks tinier, like a four inch. I don't know. Was hers a four or six inch, Jared? I don't remember now. And if you don't mind me asking, what did the six inch uh, run you? Also, I wanted to ask you too, was. What did that carbon fiber shaft run you, too? I was thinking about getting one of those eventually. Maybe for Christmas. If Santa's good to me. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. I just ordered a six-inch coil. Hey, John of Coins is in the house. Good to see you, John. Aren't you Santa? Yes, I am. But I, I have to... I'm last on the list. <laughs> I'm doing good. I just started getting these monarch uh, caterpillars there, turning into chrysalis there. I want to see if I can do it live. I know it happens in less than two hours. So I was, happy, I was hoping to see it as it happened. I guess I could have done this in a time-lapse video, huh? Maybe the other little guy over here, when he does the J-hook. Right there, that little guy right there. 
that guy's already hanging right there. But when that guy does a J-hook, maybe I'll do a time-lapse video of him uh, doing this thing that this guy's doing right now. I never see him twitch like that, man. That freaked me out. Must be getting tired. What an amazing process, though, huh? Freaking awesome, he says. Just got out of the lift. Hello, Palm. Oh, you're up in a boom lift, too, or a scissor lift there, Jim? I was in a bucket truck working on the pole lights the other day. I didn't mind those 20-foot poles, but those 50, 40, 40, 45 footers, they start to pucker a little bit. Talking to your daughter's mother. All right, Ozzy, how great is that? <laughs> you twitch a little too if what if all your skin was peeling off ah, I do a little bit <laughs> as just hang in there Oz they go from caterpillars to green peppers to butterflies I know huh hi copper coppers here Normal internal lift level 37. We have some, some one-man scissor lifts or one-man lifts. They go up 19 feet. You go up 19 feet in a two-foot or a three-foot by three-foot little thing straight up. And you start to sway a little bit. Woo, that's some scary stuff right there. Hey, UK Metal Detecting Stephen Pennington's in the house. Good to see you, Stephen. Thanks for stopping by, bud. We're watching these caterpillars turn into chrysalis. Chrysalis, Chrysalis, however you pronounce it. We'll see you later, Jordan Anderson. Thanks for stopping by, sir. Get out there and enjoy your kayak, will you? And get another video out there. I'm going to see it. Whoa, what's he doing? He's freaking me out again. He's twitching. Is he getting shorter? I think he's getting shorter. This is so weird. The other two haven't moved since yesterday after they turned green. I think it's hardening up a little bit. But inside it's like this little tiny thing. Is that his body? It's so tiny. That's weird. The other the other uh, caterpillar is only like an inch long. Inch and a half maybe. He's like half the size of the big ones. So I don't know if he's going to be a small butterfly or what. Oh, sorry. I'm back to the chat now. I was on the other side of the tank looking in. Who's having a dream? Oh, he's having a dream? Hope it ain't a nightmare or a bad dream. Let me get back down to the bottom of the chat here. You'll see some green breaking out of the back of the head or neck area. Some green. I see something. I don't know what it is. What is it? Some kind of ooze or goose there, Bruce? I was just curious. I love driving those things around, Jim. <laughs> I know, but I'm getting in my high 50s now, so I might keep my butt on the ground if I can. Just because if I get hurt, it takes too long to heal. Oh, bummer there, Jim. I'm just trying to catch up on the chat here, folks. Two minutes to go before you start. Oh, man. Well, enjoy it there, Jim. Try and have some fun. Appreciate you stopping by, bud. What is that thing? Oh, okay. The copper miner's in the house. Thanks for stopping by, copper miner. Good to see you. I work with copper all day just because I'm an electrician. I play with wires. 
Mm -mm. He's doing something. Is he going to start leaking that green stuff Bruce is talking about? What's happening? What is that green stuff, Bruce? Do you know? At the antenna and in cases upward from there. Oh, it does? This is going to be fun to watch, dude. Can't wait till it starts happening. Green jello. <laughs> Slime. <laughs> oh, Big Bertha, you got the outriggers, huh? We got a 45 boom and a 60 foot boom. All drivable. Big monster truck tires. Those are for the arena, though. He's doing something. I don't know if he's eating his skin or he's biting at something. Uh-oh, I think his antenna is caught on the other one. Oh, my God, I can actually see the wings forming in those other chrysalis. I can see the uh, pattern of the wings. I don't know if you guys can see it. And that one right there next to the J-hook, dude, there's like wing pattern on the green stuff. Like they're already forming inside. That is so wild. I'm just looking at the back of the tank, see if I'm seeing any green stuff coming down yet. Not seen it yet. Interesting though. Had a lot of fun doing it this year. Oops, sorry, I missed the chat again. All-terrain vehicle. <laughs> Don't drive over any cars, Jim. Hey, the traveling treasure hunter's in the house. Good to see you. Only takes about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Once it starts. No wonder it happened so fast yesterday morning when I wasn't home. It's going to pop. <laughs> well, if you see it before me, let me know. I wish I could zoom in on them, but no can do once you uh, go live, once you're live streaming, no zooming. I got the camera as close as I can to the, to the cage without it interfering. All of his uh, sections are contracting and expanding and contracting and expanding like he's trying to pull his tail down a little bit out of the uh, out of the skin oh my god see his legs moving on the back half not his legs but his back up towards his uh where he's hanging from that's crazy I didn't, I didn't realize they moved so much. I thought they'd just stay there in a J and then turn into a chrysala. I didn't realize there was so much activity involved. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, my God. It looks like there's things going up and down both sides of them, inside them. And the skin is, like, pulling off. It's like it's doing a wave or something. It's weird. I never seen anything like it. That's cool. Well, we had up to 27 watching. We're down to 14 now, folks. Maybe we'll come back after dinner and see it happen. We'll see you later, Jim. Don't work too hard, bud. Sorry I missed your chat saying you were leaving. <laughs> That's funny, Jerry. It's like watching Crystal is dry. funny very interesting though I like it oh, maybe I should do a super chat giveaway let me see what I got oh. I'll be right back Let me think about that for a minute. I'll find something. Yeah. 
Yeah, funny, Jason. Watch it happen while I'm gone. Something's going down. I don't, I don't see any green juice or slime coming out of his neck yet. I think it's building up, though. So that, that comes out of his neck and then goes up his body, outside of his body. I don't know how it works its way up. Oh, wait, is that it? I thought I saw some green. No, that's not it yet. Wow, this is fascinating. So cool. Hey, let me pour another cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm just standing here behind the camera. You can't see me. What should I make for dinner? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do I want to go outside and grill? I always want to put one of those uh, steam bowls in the, in the microwave. To the side. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss it, so I keep looking. happened so fast I say by the time he was born I think it took him about three weeks to grow three inches maybe and then uh, they eat like crazy the fourth week and then they go hang I'm guessing that's how long it took I'll try to be more exact next year What if he falls? I don't think, man. That stuff is like steel cable. You super glue him back up there? Well, if he does, I will, Jason. I do have some super glue. But I think that web that he uses is like steel cable. Like I said, I tried to get some off a light pole at work, and it, I, I couldn't pick them off. You know, I picked the bodies off, but the, the little stuff that was stuck to the pole stayed. It's some tough stuff. I guess they got to last, you know, while they're outside in a windstorm, tornado, whatever, hurricane. They're tough, I'll tell you that. Two of them were on the same leaf, and they started to bite each other. One guy bit one guy, he came right back and bit him, and then they stopped and went their own ways. So it'll be nice to get them in their own, in their own little compartments next year. You don't have to worry about it. We get some coffee creamer and I'll be all set. All right. Anything yet? I'm not seeing nothing. Don't worry, I'll stay live as long as it takes, but I'm going to watch him turn green. That's okay. I didn't want to do any housework tonight, anyways. I worked all day. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow after work. Very, very cool. Uh oh, his antenna just did something. Oh, what's he doing? No, what's he doing? Oh, that freaks me out, man. Oh, my God. What is he doing there, Jersey? Those are serious stomach crunches. I feel bad for him. Oh, back spasms, right? It feels like my sciatica. Oh, that poor guy. Uh-oh. Something's coming out of his antenna again. Oh, what's he doing? 
Oh shit. Oh, sorry. Man, this has been a process, I'll tell you. Getting kind of attached to these little guys. Uh, I don't know if that's painful for them or if it's just a natural process. Or if it's like being born all over again. I don't know. Somebody was saying it today. Who was it? I think it was Huntress Kimmy. Or it was, or it was somebody from uh, Dirt Diggers UK. And they are saying how they wish they, they could transform. <laughs> Imagine that if we could. Yeah, he's doing something now. seen any green yet oh, what's he doing I did not realize so much movement was involved it's like he's pumping the fluid up to the skin or something something's moving inside his skin it's so weird Well, Bruce, I do appreciate all the information there, sir. <laughs> it could be Jersey. I don't know. I think that there is what got him stuck to the ceiling in the first place. <laughs> Wait till you see his neck rip open. Oh, great. You gonna watch his neck rip open? Hey, well, happy birthday there, David. Go have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. And if you want, go back and watch the replay, and you'll see him go green. We're about uh, 40, 50, 48 minutes in, so start watching at the 50-minute mark there, David. And you can uh, start off right where you left off. I was just dying to see this happen. If it only takes 10 minutes once his neck uh, starts, that would be cool. Uh-oh, is it ripping open now? Can't see. Right, keep an eye on them. i got to empty my grounds out of my coffee pot. Stuff. Well, that's a quick 50 minutes, huh? And I know nothing was going to happen. I would have started now instead of an hour ago. Oops, sorry there, guys. I didn't forget you're here. Hey, I'm back up to 1590 for subs. I've been, I've been close to 1600 four times. I got up as high as 1598. And I just keep losing 10 subs or so every week and gaining 8 and dropping 10 and gaining 7 and dropping 10 and gaining 9 and dropping 10. So I'll get to 1600 one of these days. All right, he's moving again. It's like he's getting shorter. Oh, it's like his skin's coming off there. What is that? 
The skin's like getting short and long, short and long. Uh-oh. Is that green stuff? No, not yet. It should start happening any minute, folks. His neck's going to rip open. If you squish them, you'll see green stuff. Like I said, that's what Shrek used to use on his toothbrush, or his toothpaste. Uh-oh, what's happening? He's going straight. Uh-oh, I think I see it, folks. I see some green stuff coming out the back of his neck. It's happening. And if you can see it there on the back of his neck, a little bit of green stuff. It's coming out of his uh, skin. I guess it's going to work his way all the way up to his tail. Should take about 10 minutes, folks. It should be over. Can you see the green stuff? Here it goes. Oh, my God. Look at it, dude. Look how fast it's happening. Oh, my God. No wonder I missed it yesterday. This is so cool. Maybe the other one will go live on Facebook. Oh, man. I'm glad I started it when I did. Oh my god, how is it doing that? What is that stuff? Oh, Bruce, man, I really appreciate all the info, dude. Much obliged. His tail's still going like crazy. Is he pumping that green fluid out of his body? And it's just, how is it working its way up? I don't get it. Oh, you know what it's doing? I think it's coming out of every groove of his body, maybe. No, it's actually working its way up. That is so weird. You guys seeing that? Totally, totally weird. Oh my god. I never seen anything like that. Look at it go. The green stuff just goes right up and over his body. It's covered his head, his legs. I guess he ain't going to be breathing, huh? How does he breathe? I guess he don't have to, huh? That is amazing. And it's like hardening or something right, right away. You guys seeing that? <laughs> that is just cool. I don't know how it's happening, folks, but that green stuff... It's like uh, that spray foam. You spray it and it just expands everywhere. Oh, I think the other guy is starting to go to J-shape in a minute. I'll show you that. That green stuff is just amazing. i never seen anything like it. We're 53 minutes in. Oh, this might be like an hour-long video then. That'd be perfect. Oh, I'm so glad I got this on video. That is awesome. It did happen quick, Bruce. Ten minutes, you're right. I don't understand how it's going up his back though, all that green stuff. Is... Wow, his antennas on this end got really big now, Bruce. So his back antennas got huge. Oh yeah, someone's asking me something. Hey, what's up there, Founded Buried? You made it just in time. Look at it, he's turning into a chrysala. No more caterpillar. Oh, he shed his skin. His whole skin came off or something came off. What is that big black ball? It looks like a spider. His antennas are in there. What the heck is happening? Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my gosh. There it goes. It just fell off. Now he's hanging by something really skinny, not fat anymore. The green stuff is still going up his body. I hope he ain't like suffocating or something. That is so weird. Oh, I'm so glad you guys got to see this. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the chat if anybody said anything. Sorry. Those are his front antennas now. Just to show you, this guy is doing something over here. 
I don't know if he's going to go to J-hook now or what. I mean, I can leave them both on there. Well, I guess he's done. Well, he's still moving a little bit. So is his head down the bottom now or at the top, Bruce? It's so interesting. Man, that green stuff went right up his body. That was amazing. I never seen anything like that. Wow. I don't know if the other guy is moving or what he's doing. I don't know if you guys can still see him on there. Wow, that was amazing to watch. That was truly cool. I wish my daughter could have been here to see it. Still moving around though, right? It's so weird. His skin, like the stripes and everything, are still in there. The green stuff just came out and encased them. But his body got like half the length now. That is so weird. Oh, I can see the other one moving inside the chrysler there. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if you guys can see that in the first one. That's hanging by itself. You see that thing moving in there? And this first one here? Where's my finger? This first one here. Look inside of it. Something's moving. It's like getting dark and light and dark and light. Like he's moving around in there. That is so cool. Wow. Well, this has been a fun science, uh, science experiment. Something to do with nature. That is so cool. Glad you guys got to share it with me. That was fun. Appreciate you hanging in there for the hour. Much obliged. Crazy stuff. Wow, I know, huh? Well, quick. In a month, huh? Whatever it is. No, 10 to 14 days, I think, or 5 to 10. Depending on the heat, I don't know. We'll find out. As soon as they start to emerge, I'll go live again. Hopefully, I'm home. Hey, Bob Dip's in the house. What's up, Bob? Cynthia's in the house. Oh, you miss it, Cynthia. I don't know if you were here the last 10 minutes, but I went from caterpillar. The green stuff came out of its head and enclosed his body. That was so fun to watch. I never seen anything like it. I'm going to set up a couple of time lapses there, Bruce, uh, for the uh, when they when they start coming out. I hope it's on my weekend. Thanks there, Traveling Treasure Hunter. Glad you liked. You caught most of it, Cynthia? Good. Not too much, Bob. Just uh, got out of work about 3 o'clock. at home at 4. And I see that guy hanging still. It was a J-hook. The caterpillar. So I knew within an hour or so or two, he was going to be turning into a green chrysalis. And we watched it happen live. That was so cool. Hey, what's J-hook doing over there? Was he going in the J position? Is he moving? I don't think he's moving. I think he's already attached himself. He's awful small though. He's like half the size of the other ones. Yeah, you can see all four of them there now. Sweet! Alright guys, I won't keep you much longer. I've been on for an hour now. I think you've seen all the action that's going to happen. We watch him do his aerobics. He did his stomach crunches. He did his 700 sit-ups. And then green stuff came out and enclosed his body. I wish I could follow them on their travels. I'm not going to South America, though. Some are bigger than others, Mike. Oh, okay. Thanks to know that, North Jersey. I didn't know that they could transform being such a small caterpillar. I thought they had to get to three inches or something. 
Well, that's good to hear, John. Glad. Good to see you. Mm-mm-mm. That was fun to watch. All right, folks. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm going to head out because I'm going to make some dinner. I'm starving. It's only 5.30. Woo! I'm going to make some phone calls. And I got some uh, video to take off my phone to put on my PC or my external hard drive to clear up some room. Never mind. What? Oh, ha ha. Got you there, George Jersey. <laughs> All right, Stephen. We'll see you later, bud. Thank you, Cynthia. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, hopefully we can catch them when they emerge butterflies. How cool is that going to be? All right, folks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have some fun tonight. Call a loved one. Say hi. All right. We'll see you later. Uh oh, somebody's sent me something. I can't see my X button and close out of here. There it is. All right, we'll catch you on the next. Have fun. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.